Hi there, so this video is about driving nerves. Now, it's not about driving test nerves, because that video is on top there now for you. So if you suffer from learning to drive and, you, and you, your nerves are getting the better of you, or you've took your test and failed because of nerves, then look at the video. It might help to, to kind of clear a few things up. Uh, but this video is about people who've already passed the driving test and how nerves affect you. And uh, I can only say now, not gonna affect me. I'm fine. I'm gonna get in that car, start the engine, and I'm off. Lovely. Then this video is not for you then, by all means. But share it to your friends if you want to. Or you could be one of these people who do suffer from nerves when you learn to drive. And you do you did suffer on your driving test because you didn't pass because the nerves got the better of you. And now you pass your driving test and you've got a car, or you're gonna get a car, you're thinking, oh right, I'm gonna be on my own now. The thought of that could get you getting nervous. It might not. Everyone's different. So I'm just going to give you a few little tips that will hopefully help ease the pain or the, the nerves which, which comes from it. So if you, the, the idea of getting in the car for the first time on your own or you've been in the car already and you're thinking, God, now I'm driving badly and forgetting everything, then I'll try and give you a couple of tips. So first thing you want to do, know where everything is in the car first. So before you set off, <coughs> Excuse me. Know where the indicator is. Know where the windscreen wiper is. It might be on opposite sides than you're used to. The car you've been driving in with your instructor will probably be completely different than the car that you're driving in now. Now you might be shouting at the wind, the windscreen, saying, "I've got exactly the same car, so I'm fine, lovely." But most people haven't. They might have been driving in a Corsa, or a Fiesta, or a Honda Jazz, which is what I've got, and then they, and then they think, "Right, I need to go and get a car, and they go and get a Yaris." because it's a nice, easy car to ensure it's a nice, easy, reliable car to drive. Or a 4KA, I don't know what you got, but you need to check where things are in the car before you set off. You need to make sure your mirrors are set up. You know, have the engine on, play with the gas, find that biting point. So when you do set off, you've got a good idea where things are. That'll give you a little bit of an ease to start with. So right when you, you're moving off, you're thinking, right, okay, well, well, I know where the gearbox is. I know reversing on a different side than what I'm used to. Or it's got a funny little handle. So when I'm putting reverse, I've got to change it around. So you know where things are. You're not just going to set off and begin, right, how do I put it in reverse? Okay, so once you know where the controls are, great. You're going to set off. Oh, prospect of driving to the local supermarket is quite daunting. Got to park in a car park, it's busy. So let's say it's off. Well, there's no point in parking next to the entrance, that's going to be packed. Park at the far side, where it's quiet, where no one likes to go because it's a bit of a, a minute walk. <laughs> You've just driven 10 minutes, so a minute walk's nothing, is it? It's probably a bit of exercise that you want anyway. So drive in the far side where it's quiet. You can park in there, you can drive back out of there. The ones who park close, let them park close and let them kind of squeeze into small gaps. That'll help you. And um, let's pick a quiet time of the day to go there. So don't pick rush hour. There's no point in picking rush hour. It's putting pressure on you. Set yourself, right, okay. Half nine in the morning, or 10, or 11, you know, or even 12. It's going to be quieter then, isn't it? So let's go then. It's only a 10 minute drive. Think about where, where the road is. You're familiar with the roads. You're familiar with what's coming up. So you know what's going to happen. All you've got to do is keep doing your mirrors, Keep doing your signals, make sure you're in the correct gears for slowing down, correct gears for moving off, all these things. So you've already kind of know the route you're taking. So it's a bit like independent drive, isn't it? You're gonna take the route, you already know the route. So that bit's familiar. So if you know the route, you feel a bit easier. There's no point in saying, right, well, I'm gonna go to, um, well, I'm in Milton Keynes now. Let's go to Northampton. It's a good half an hour drive. And I haven't got a clue where I'm going, but I'm sure I can follow the signs. That's putting pressure on you. So. Pick the route where you want to go. That'll ease the pain of the nerves because you'll know what you're doing. All you've got to do is just check. And it's, it's fine then, isn't it? If the, the prospect of driving on your own is a bit nerve wracking, then you've got two things you can do. You can either put a bit of a radio on, have it on nice and low. That they, whether you use pop music or soul music or you've got a CD and whatever floats your boat with, with the music, have it on, have it nice and low, so you can hear the indicator still, but you can hear it in the background, it's quite soothing, favourite favorite band on, favourite track, playing away, and it's quite nice actually, listening to a bit of music and driving, instead of listening to someone saying, do this, do that, 
and that it's not distracting. It's not too loud, so it's not distracting you. But it's enough so you can keep doing what you're doing. But the idea of it's not dead peace and quiet. That's quite nice. And if you want to do that, ask your mum or dad, so, or your partner, or your friend. Right, I want you in the car um, on one condition. I don't want you going no 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 down me ear while I'm driving, because that's just going to distract me. I want you to bite your your tongue and just go, be quiet because I might make a few mistakes. I've just passed my drying test, I'm a bit nervous, so the prospect of making a few mistakes is probably gonna happen, but I'll learn from the mistakes. I'll try not to be dangerous. <laughs> That's what you've got to keep saying to them. I'll put something on that though. But I'm gonna be nervous, all right? If you get your mum and dad who's been driving for years, they're gonna to want to tell you something, but you've got to say to them, now please don't distract me too much. And at the end, by all means, say to me, you know, that wasn't bad that you didn't then, but I want to pull out then, if that was me, or I want to pull out because you waited a bit too long. But then you've got to say to them, well, I'm not as quick as you, Dad, or Mum, so I'm doing as best I can, and I think I didn't do too bad, really. No one's bibbing the arms at me, either. You know, you, you, you learn from them. But you've you got to make sure, if you do get someone in the passenger seat, that they're not giving you a load of jip because that's going to be no good. If they're shouting at you and, and saying, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong, it's just going to be a downward spiral where you're just going to get more and more conscious about, oh God, I'm not doing as good as I thought I'd do. Well, you want someone to say, saying, well, that was all right. That was not bad. A couple of little man errors, but not bad. You'll, you'll be fine. All right. And then after a couple of times, you don't need them there. Okay. So I'm hoping this video helps you. If, like I say, if you are suffering from driving test nerves, look at the video at the top. That's going to certainly help you with your driving tests. And if you're new to my channel, click on that subscribe button. And um, by all means, like the video, share it to your friends. That's what it's there for. And good luck with your driving. Be safe on the roads. Take care.